How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday night. It is the Earth Master out here. About 9.59 p.m. California time here, the first day of December 2024. Latest activity shows some movement there on the China Lake, California station there on the seismograph. A little small earthquake coming in in the last few minutes. That uh, appears to be this little 1.2 up here. Starting to light up a little bit further down south as well, across the San Andreas Fault, a couple around Los Angeles as well. Uh, let's see if we got anything above 2.5 out here since this morning's update. Looks like a 2.7 here on the Calaveras Fault earlier this evening outside of Morgan Hill. Uh, aside from that, uh, looks like some movement south here of the border in the Baja California area. So we're noticing a little trend out here of elevated earthquake activity. Nothing big, but we are lighting up out here in the last hour, as noted on the uh, map here. Aside from that, uh, further north, across the Pacific Northwest, pretty quiet. A couple of smaller quakes there outside of the uh, Cascade Volcanoes. Nothing big. 13.4. This is uh, off the Blanco or the uh, Juan de Fuca Ridge. I don't know if that's going to be the exact location of it or not. It has been reviewed, so I guess that will stay in that location. Kind of an odd area off of the ridge region. Let's see what we got here for Cascadia trimmer activity. Real quick. Uh, eight. If I remember right, that was the epicenter count last night as well. Let me see. Yeah, that's a little odd, isn't it? Eight right here yesterday and then uh eight earthquakes again there's magic and numbers out there hopefully that's not pointing to an 8.0 earthquake out here those are just very small trimmer counts out there but numbers have meanings and uh, we're expecting an eight pointer out here the cascadia obviously could be one location an 8.0 or somewhat greater is possible here across the southern end of the cascadia subduction zone now the full rupture would result in a 9.0 or greater earthquake there and the last one was back in 1700 324 years ago some built up strain along the cascadia for sure uh, the rest of the map out here hawaii uh let's see here a little bit in the last hour really nothing major going on out here i've just seen a little swarming out here across the pahala area in the typical zone down around or up around the Kil kilauea volcano as well but really no uh unusual movement to take note of there for now let's take a look at the earthquake 3d globe see what we have out here um since this morning's update a couple new earthquakes there across the mariana trench northward into japan a lot of earthquakes up here recently and uh no activity on the kumano ridge or this uh the subduction zone right here the uh, nankai trough this is uh set up here potentially for a mega quake soon uh, average intervals run about uh, i think 150 to 200 years or so and the last one's it's been a little bit uh so we'll continue to watch that with all the activity around it recently it makes sense to keep an eye on that subduction zone uh, clustering going on across the philippines as normal that's always happening down there and as uh, far as the rest of the plate boundary out here, a couple uh, smaller quakes around the Vanuatu area and back across Tonga. One 3.1 from earlier down across South Island, New Zealand, but really nothing major going on there for now. The Mediterranean regions, threes and twos, 4.2 off the coast here, just off the plate boundary it looks like. Off the coast of maybe, uh, let's see exactly where that's at. Morocco area it looks like, just off here. The rest of the Atlantic, pretty quiet, aside from some older movement quake activity down in the South Sandwich Trench. Uh, across the area of the Middle America Trench and also South Peru, um, the uh, South America area, Peru Chile Trench. Still showing some movement, but really, twos and threes, very common out there. Now, if you look, we had this uh, little earthquake way up on the northeastern side here of the states. That's a 3.5 out in the New Brunswick area. I'm sure uh, a few folks felt that, depending on location-wise out there. looks like it struck in an area outside of, you, of the populated regions, although uh, within that uh, area out there, a few folks reported some light to moderate shaking going on from the 3.5, about 5 kilometers or so, into the uh, New Brunswick area. 
not too often do we see activity up there, but hey, it's, uh, you know, it, it can happen. Any area out here across the east scene uh, can see some elevated earthquake activity. Various regions, and I'm assuming up here as well, even though the USGS does not cover the hazard map for it, uh, I'm sure there's some earthquake potential out there. Doesn't happen a lot, but uh, occasionally we do get these surprising little earthquakes out in this area of the country, of the world, I should say. That's in, up in Canada. All right, uh, let's see here. What else we got? The rest of the country out here. I know we kind of jumped over the center portion of the country. There's a, the typical earthquake activity in the oil fields for now. One earthquake out in Kansas, out in the Smoky Hills region. 2.7 earthquake, a little odd quake up there. Satellite imagery. Um, looks like a lot of farmland out there, prairie land. I don't see any oil pumping operations out there. I don't see it listed on the map either. Uh, so hard to say exactly what is that, uh, what, what that's associated with. It's really not in a seismically active area either. Um, let's see here. Yellowstone National Park. Anything major going on across that super volcano? Super duper quiet is the key word out here uh, for that uh, volcano. Not a whole lot going on. Looks like a couple spiky earthquakes um, earlier today. Some outside noise interference, I believe, is what that uh, other reading was. Really didn't show up all that drastically across other seismograph stations, so... Really not too concerned about it. Uh, let's see what else we got here. 1.6 out in the uh, Nevada area right now. Is that right? It looks like it. 4.7 along the Aleutian Trench. There's that swarm of activity northward from the uh, Mariana Trench. Keep an eye on these regions of quietness. That includes the Crow Kamchatka. Definitely capable of producing some larger quake activity out there. Uh, flaring activity, for the most part, is uh, on the sea flare category. Let's see if... Uh, are we working? All right, that's a little weird. A little bit of sea flare activity here in the last couple days, but really that's um, could be any given day out here. That's actually minor activity. No major roars in there in the forecast. In fact, the... Uh, uh, forecast there looks pretty green, meaning not a whole lot of rewards. We got a uh, 5% chance for X flare, M flare at 30, C flare at 99% chance. Now, these are going down in the percentage and possibilities out here. Not a whole lot of happening sunspots out there for now. Uh, UV filter of the sun uh, shows a couple active regions out there on the eastern limb, but uh, we won't know what uh what they're gonna do until they come back around until they come out into the op open view here earth directed view the magnetogram image here is still down unfortunately uh and i hear that it may not come up until maybe sometime after the first of january into the new year so that's a little disappointing but we'll have to work with what we got here Nothing major in the uh, Storm Prediction Center out there for now. A look at the numerical models. Continues to show a cold trend out here across the, the good portion of the country. So we put this model into motion here. Got some more lake effect snow. Hopefully you guys aren't tired of the snow out here uh, because it's coming. Another system there coming in midweek. A lot of colder air. And I think even another one behind that potentially. We'll have to see what happens. But... Uh, Things are starting to switch up out here a little bit, it looks like. That's good news uh, because we need some, we need a pattern change out here across California. We want some uh, wetter conditions here. It's kind of boring out here right now. Not a whole lot happening. All right, uh, let's see here. Real quick glance at the seismograph stations once again. Pretty quiet for now. We did have that little earthquake there on the China Lake Station uh, a while back, but... Uh, Again, that was some small microquake activity out here. We'll continue to watch it, folks. See how things play out. Um, again, you know, we're, we're going to be looking at an eight-pointer out here greater sometime in the near future. And uh, I keep saying that because the possibilities and the regular intervals out here of large earthquakes 
for an eight pointer uh, run about every other every year or every other year. And uh, goodness, we haven't had an eight pointer since 2021. So it's almost 2025 in another month. It will be goodness. So uh, it's increasing day by day. Uh, the chances of seeing that larger earthquake somewhere out here. But, uh, you know, we could have this map up on a wall and all of us could throw darts at it, indicating where we think the next eight pointer might hit. And more than likely, it hit uh, one of the areas that we threw a dart at. But uh, then again, maybe not. Uh, there's a lot of locations out here that are well strained for at least an eight pointer. All right. Have a good night, folks. We will catch you guys back out here tomorrow for the work week. Monday morning comes upon us quick. So I'm heading to bed. Have yourself a good night, folks. Take care, and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Stay safe out there.